We're doing a naturalistic approach to bodies. What happens is that we associate positivity and negativity to certain things. Then we start judging those things. And I'm not judging at all. The, the, the issue is there, each one of us has this genetic admixture which comes from people who preceded us, all of our relatives, and all of our things like our noses and so on come from this long lineage of our family tree. And our noses, our lips, our eyes, whatever it is, is just perfect. It's beautiful, right? So who in the class would I think that they probably have one of the largest noses in the class? That's not a very... <laughs> dude, hang on. That's not a large nose. Where, what's your ancestry? No clue. You don't have any clue? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, give me some... Okay, next person in class who thinks they probably might have the smallest nose in class. Look at... And then look at my nose, right? My nose is really, like... Can you see it? Like, really thin. And, like, even on the side, it's got that... It's, really, it's pretty small. My nose is actually really small. And it's, it's... It's... You see this right here because I got... In playing, when I was in high school, I uh, broke my nose playing football. And, like, the helmet came down and crushed my nose. But... Um, dude, so here's the thing, right? How is your nose, dude? Do people talk about your nose, or did you talk um, about it? Someone just messaged me and said to raise my hand, so I did. Yeah? But it's all good, dude. It's your yeah. nose. You, you want to grab onto those things that really stand out about us. Because most of us don't have anything that stands out about us, so at least you have a nose, and that's, like, really cool. And, bro, did people talk about your nose? Uh, in high school, I remember a couple of times people told me that my nose was pretty small. Uh, I'm still kind of self-conscious about it. You're self-conscious like, yeah, about it? Yeah, like I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like my nose at all. <laughs> How come? Like what? Like what's behind it? I don't that? know. I don't, I don't know. Like it's kind of like upturned and I don't know. It's a beautiful nose. Oh, thank you. Do you have any idea why noses are different? Like do you understand why they're different sizes? Uh, I actually have no idea. Anyone want to take a, anyone have a guess? Do longer noses warm up the air more when it's going into your lungs? It would seem to be that way, yep. So with longer noses, you have a longer nasal passage, and the longer nasal passage, especially in cold climates, that went in order to really get on in cold climates, like, you know, like, for example, last week when it was really cold, or it's going to get cold again this weekend, go outside when it gets really cold and do this. As, as hard and fast as you can, and feel the pain of that. And that's not good, right? You feel it? And so you have a longer nasal passage. So the no if you're going to have a longer nasal passage, your nose is necessarily going to be l larger, right? And then w what that's doing is warming the air before it gets to the lungs. And that's a good thing. So people who grow up in, in arid, more humid climates are going to tend to have smaller noses. So we see like a lot of people in sub-Saharan Africa tend to not have really large noses. People in certain parts of East Asia tend not to have really large noses. Whereas in Europe, right, we're going to, in, or in parts of the Middle East, we're going to see some really much larger noses. Do people in your family have your nose or is it a genetic mutation of some sort? It's, it's got to be because like on my mom's side, she's like part Native American and my brother has like a like a Native American looking like nose. Like with the, with the little hook yeah, yeah, piece Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's really interesting. So we're passing this, this like really complex arrangement of genes down every time that we make children. And the genes could come from lots of different places. So when you, like, when you look in a mirror and what you see is really what allowed your, fa your ancestry to pass on all those genes for all those years. It's awesome. But what we do is we get caught up in things like noses and eyes and like, I don't know, lips or whatever. So... It's cool. And, and, in your, and in certain regions of the world, when you travel, once again, as you go around, say, Europe, or you go around Africa, or you go around South America, or Asia, different places, and you see particular kinds of noses. Or like in Ireland, does anybody have this? Anybody Irish in the class? There's like probably five different faces in Ireland that, in, in, uh, that I see all the time when I'm in Ireland, right? And one face is a nose that has its little bulbous at the end of it. It's like a little round tip at the end. Really common among the Irish. Don't see it anywhere else.